Hey everybody, hope everybody's doing good, staying blessed and feeling well. I am back and so today I am chiming in really quick with an update at me going to school. I am actually really enjoying school an awful lot now. I feel like I've learned so much about welding techniques and how to get my weld straight and I've learned a lot of patience and I have to say I'm actually really enjoying this um, set of TPI classes that we have, learning about the mindset, learning about how to have a growth mindset, learning about uh, having a positive attitude and things like that. These are some things that I would consider to be common sense things, but I think that it's really good to have that refresher, to have another perspective, to change your mind, to, to actually put it inside of my own head that we can all learn to grow and change and there is so much more out there and the only limitations that we have we basically set upon ourselves in um, many circumstances but as a slight a uh, little bit of a tidbit or a little bit of a segue into something else I went and I stopped at the gas station because I was thirsty and they just happened to have some um, Rockstar energy drinks on sale and they've been selling them for like a dollar or whatever but I didn't know that they had this kind this one is cotton candy and it's a zero sugar one so this is what the can looks like and I have to say um, it actually tastes pretty good it's not too sweet and it actually really does taste a lot like cotton candy to me which I think it was actually something I, I wasn't really fully expecting like you know how sometimes you get a drink and you taste it and the flavor is somewhat reminiscent of whatever it is this one actually really does taste like cotton candy I was actually pleasantly surprised and hey for a dollar you know that's not bad but I will have to say I have been trying to limit or cut back on drinking energy drinks and this might actually get me in trouble because it actually tastes pretty good <laughs> they had a bunch of other flavors like this too and um, I, I have to admit I'm going to end up having to try the other one um, that I picked up this one is super sours green apple and I had a bunch of other little cute uh, cute type flavors or flavors that were actually I have to say were interesting in the sense that their advertising is pretty good it was eye-catching and actually got my attention and I have to really just admit it tastes yummy <laughs> I did not expect that I really didn't <laughs> but back on target I'm really enjoying going to school I am so excited and I'm so thrilled at the fact that I made the decision to go and I'm just really looking forward to working towards having an actual career in welding um, and beating all the odds that were stacked against me because I have to say when I was a little girl and I was basically growing up I grew up watching this movie called Flashdance and y'all might laugh at me for this but the main character in that was like a role model for me in a sense she was beautiful she had her own home she had her she was independent she had her goals and desires and she went out there and she got them and believe it or not I used to really be super interested in dance and stuff like that but my father he was into construction and all the rest of that type of stuff long story short I found it inspirational the fact that not only was she a dancer but her actual job she was a welder so that was a little segue or a little thing that stuck with me all the way up until the point that I'm at right now I grew up just admiring her and and just looking up to my father and that whole concept of hey she can do that I'm a girl I can do that too it's nothing wrong with me trying to go and learn and do that I can be like my father I can be like whoever I can I, I can actually do something like this this is not outside of the box this isn't awkward and I 
I, I guess <laughs> this is me being a little bit embarrassed um, admitting this part of it there was this whole part of me I always wanted to know how things worked and I had this uh, little bit of curiosity on putting things back together how can I fix this this is broken how can I put this together and this is where welding once I started really looking into what it was intrigued me to the point that it always stuck in the back of my head I'd like to be able to do that that's something I'd like to be able to do I want to be able to fix things put them together build something create something be productive and this what led me into the point of being where I'm at right now <laughs> if that makes sense and if you can't tell I'm really just I'm really excited I'm really happy sometimes it's been a little bit awkward whenever I would have like a issue with trying to get something um but our teacher is wonderful which I, I thought it was actually kind of cool our teacher's nickname is Mr. J so um in class it's kind of funny whenever the other students they actually refer to me I'm J too so um it's kind of funny if I hear J I actually have to turn around <laughs> but they have the Mr. in front of his J which makes it easier for me to realize hey it's not me but I think that it's fun um being in that situation because I've got to meet new people and I feel like there's a camaraderie or a sense of belonging somewhere when other people have the similar like type goals as you so it's been a very positive experience for me I've had my moments of actually feeling a little bit uncomfortable or worrying whether or not this was the right choice but that is that basically has melted away at this point we've got three midterms we are currently working on uh, doing horizontal 7018 uh, on six uh, six inch plate and we're gradually learning how to run out beads and fill up the plate and I have to say I'm actually feeling way more confident now um, after being in school since August the 15th and this has been a life-changing experience for me because I feel like I'm finally where I should be as far as trying to get my career in mind um, and if you've been following me you probably already know in the past my work history I've been a 